Hola campers, how y'all doing today? Well listen, don't do this one real quick here because the video is actually pretty long. This model is a very, very, very special model to me. Now, here's the reason why. Back in 1967, I was 11 years old. We had a neighbor that lived right next door to us named Wayne Johnson. Now, Wayne Johnson was the hot rodder's hot rodder. This man knew anything and everything about small block and big block Chevy buildups. My dad taught me the basics. Wayne is the one that taught me on how to do the high performance part. Well, he had a 1940 Ford, not the Willys, regular two-door coupe, and it had a small block Chevy with the legendary Edelbrock X-Manifold which, if you know anything about that, it had six single barrel Stromberg 97s on it. It's one of the very first, in fact, I think it is the first, original six pack intake. Well, the car itself, he had his, his two door coupe. It was nice enough. I mean, a little on the rusty side, but he wasn't that kind of guy. But what caught my eye sitting directly behind it was a 1944 Ford, excuse me, four door sedan. I'm like, what? Now I've heard it called a business coupe and stuff like that. But it actually is just a four, it's a, called a four door sedan. Well, I saw that car. My eyes got as big as dinner plates, and I fell instantaneously in love with that body. Now, he wasn't going to get rid of it, which I really was kind of hoping he would, because he had future plans for it, and to be honest, I hope he did, because I have no idea what happened to him. Anyways, Wayne then, in the latter part of 68 to early 69, moved. Well... Just before he had everything packed up, the cars were gone, he will comes over to the house just before he's leaving, and he says, Paul got a special gift for you. Big old cardboard box. Well, I go outside, grab that box, open it up. Inside was this Edelbrock X manifold. My, and I'm telling you what, my, my heart about exploded in my chest. I was so much in love. So, told me he said whatever you do use this on something really really cool and I told him you know what I will and I did I in latter years about 1974 uh, yeah 74 that's when I start actually I started in 1973 collecting Camaros I had your standard everyday old school Camaro with the straight six in it. Well, I had pulled it out. I had built up a small block LT1 Chevy. And I had that manifold sitting up on the shelf. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to do that. So I put the manifold on. I rebuilt each of the carburetors, which, <laughs> so easy, it's ridiculous. But I did. I built it up. And that car ran like the proverbial striped ass eight. But the car body that I wanted more than anything and still want today is that damn 1944 door. So I get this unboxing, you're gonna see the body, and hopefully you will see why I fell in love with it as well. Okay, here we go. Now, as you see, it says 39. But, when I first got this kit back in 1968-69, same thing. What it does, it comes with the filler so you could make it look like a 40. I mean, otherwise it's just too much. Well, you can see this one is one of the new, what they call retro kits. Which I think is really kind of cool. But, you know, what can I say? It's going to be AMT, so I'm hoping it's going to be really well put together. 
like it was when I first built this car. Okay, here you can see if you look, I hope that thing focuses in really good. You can build the car either stock or you can hop it up a little bit. Now, you'll see later tires aren't all that good, but still, even gives you a choice of engines. You can put a V8 into it, which I am going to. But as you can look there where the gold is, that is the filler panel to make it a 40. You know, it's, it's got some decent wheels in there and everything, but, you know, not great. But there's your hopped up, the way they put it, engine. And, well, not my cup of tea. I'm going to do something different. But there's your Nerf bumpers, which I do think are cool. I'm probably going to go ahead and use them. As always, you know, AMD likes to take and put basically, you know, most of the parts of stuff on the back of the box, you know, some generalized ideas, stuff like that. But, hey, that's just AMT. What I thought was really cool, there was a scan deal there, and I'm going to do it. I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to do that and try and see what the heck that's all about. I'm not cutting it slow for dramatic effect, no, I'm just, I'm doing it because I don't want to cut the box and destroy any of the artwork because, of course, I'm going to save the box. Always, every AMT kit is packed so nicely. But here's your chrome screw. You got a beautiful chrome drop front axle. Uh, you got the right there where my thumb on the right hand is. There's your factory bumpers. The uh, Nerf bumpers are up at the top. Which, like I say, I'm going to use them. They look really cool. I remember that. Trim rings, the whole nine yards, along with what they refer to as the high performance looking wheels which come on really they're really not yeah you know what can't tell I'm, I'm trying to see this on here as i'm recording this and i don't remember what it is but there i can say a lot of good looking little chrome parts so now we get over to the tires you're gonna see what i mean okay there are eight tires and there is, I think, four of them are the factory style skinnies, and then four of them are kind of sort of close to a 70 series, which are really not. There's the glass. Glass, I checked out, looks really, really good. I didn't see any waves or anything else in which I'm going to be using. Now, put this one up, pull that stuff out there real quick. Come on, come on, you can do it. Anyway, look at that body. Do, do you see what I'm talking about? Look how drop dead gorgeous that body actually is. My God, that the lines are just absolutely phenomenal. And then you know with the with the hood, and then you put on that 40 grill with the insert. Oh my God! I mean, it looks kind of sort of like you'd be having a willies now here's another sprue as you can see and of course they're talking about model kits this is one of the rolling style it's got the axles and everything which I'm not going to use here is auto world where this model I'm going to assume is being handled out of right now I'm not a big fan of die casts I'm really honestly not I am a fan of the model kit, so I'm going to go there sometime, and I'm going to check out what they have model-wise. So, yeah, 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 yeah. 
that's at 30 I think that's at 35 uh, panel which I really liked a lot Here we have the other items, you know, for the body and stuff. Of course, the interior, some engine parts, there's the frame, uh, which doesn't look bad, really doesn't. I got some ideas for it. There is the two halves of the V8 engine. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut it open just for you all to be able to check it out and, you know, see what we got going on here. And of course, as always, the bags love to fight me for some stupid reason. Come on, get off it. Finally. All right, we pull the stuff out. Like I say, I've got some really, really, really big plans for this. I do. But there's your basic you know parts they got for it it's got fender skirts you can see the goopy looking roll bar that frame which yeah okay <laughs> not thrilled about but what can i say you know you can't do a whole lot to it even though i'm gonna try see we get figured out here so we go in now and the next sprue has got the rear end but Oh my god, look at that rear end. That is a factory stock rear end, which of course anybody knows that. Those old boards are just garbage. There you got the uh, trim rings that you can paint, you know, a body color to make it look good. To match the body. Alright, next sprue of course is you got two different hoods here. You got the 39 hood. But you also have the 40 hood. They are slightly different, which you can, if you look right there, you can see. 40 hood drops down a little more. 39 is a little bit more peaked. And you got some suspension parts, stuff like that on that sprue. And you go in here. <laughs> Where do you see these headers? I saw these went like, are you serious? Come on now. Really ridiculous. You know, there's the back side to the rings for the uh, wheels, the, the factory stock wheels. There is that solid made grill insert. So if you wanted to, you could take and make it like a Bonneville salt where it will be closed up in the front end. Because that's what they used to do in the day. Okay, now we get out the instructions and the decals. So, I'm going to show you these here kind of quick. That's, this, of course, this is basically to start off with everything is for the 39 board. But, like I said, there's the filler kits. You can see they do have one engine that's more or less bone stuck single uh, barrel carburetor. And then they got another motor, bigger heads of course for the tri-power setup, the three single Stromberg 97's on it. It's okay, but it does even come with fuel injection, which I thought, okay, I didn't remember that when I first built that model back in like 1968. Uh, you can see there's the deals on the wheels and the different tires and rims and how to put your suspension all together which you can see in the front you can change out with the chrome which I might do but I'm still not 100% positive on that I, I got a really cool idea for it but I'm not sure how it's going to work yet all your interior parts then it comes to the painting schemes gives you some general ideas of course like AMT does 
with different colors and stuff like that that you can use on it. And of course, you know, you get to the backside to stock and street for final assembly. You know, it tells you different parts to use. I mean, it's not bad, this kit. It really, honestly isn't. Now, is it one of the greatest in the world? No, no. I wish they'd retool it and make it look cooler. I really, really do. Because believe it or not, Willis had a 44 door sedan along with the, uh, the two-door coupe that they came out with, with, you know, in conjunction with Ford. That would be wicked to find. That really would. But yeah, some of that is just really kind of, eh, at best. Uh, now we're going to get into, I am not going to try to rip that open. Nope, nope, I've learned my lesson, so I'm going to just take, use a knife, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut that open to show you the decals that come with it, which are new cut decals. You can see, you can feel it, and you can tell. It's this, like I say, this is a retool kit, but really, oh, come on, look at this. Those are all the worst flames and flame ideas I think I've ever seen in my life. Now. There are some small decals for the dash, stuff like that, which I'm probably going to use. I mean, and there, there is, there's some really cool little stuff on there that I'm going to use. But the bigger ones, man, no. No, I'll save them like, you know, a lot of other, you know, model builders do. But very few of my own actually use on this model. So, eh, what can I say? I don't do it all the time, but like on decal stuff like that, I really do like to put it back into the bag. I got it out of, you know, if I take the glass out, which I'm not doing this one, or the tires, you know, I'll take and put them generally back in the bag, just so you don't get scratched up, scuffed up, or whatever. That may, I'm sorry, I hate metal axles on my I really do. And with a passion. But yeah, okay, so we, like I say, there's that chrome screw going back in. And there are, my God, look at that. Oh, that makes my heart feel so good. Just that, that body. Yeah, I'm going to open it up here and I'm going to show you. Just look at the lines after I get it out of the bag here. This, I think, to be honest, was one of the absolute sexiest cars. Even though it was a tank, it was still, I think, one of the sexiest car bodies I think I've ever seen in my life. I'm not joking you. I mean, it is just beautiful. The, the way the back end just slopes down so gentle. I mean, it's not a really bad body tub. I mean, it really honestly isn't. There's quite a bit of detail in it. There really honestly is. Uh, some flash, but really not very much, to be honest with you. It's very, very little flash, but oh my God, look at that. You mean to tell me that that doesn't just make your heart skip a beat? A little bit of wave, from the molding process on top of the body that's easily fixed but the uh, fire wall has got some detailing on it which I totally forgot about uh, when I was doing them I wasn't all that big and doing all that detail I did the motor stuff like that but as for fire walls and stuff I really didn't do a lot of detailing but boy that fits together so beautiful I mean you put that 
uh, windshield glass and everything in there. Put this car together and you're like, oh my goodness, look how beautiful that really looks. I can't wait. I'm not going to start on it now. Nope, that's a, that's a future project. But I really, in all honesty, wanted to show you all this so bad. Show you my dream car. Thank you so much, my friends, for watching this video. You don't know how much I really do appreciate it. Please don't forget to comment if you would. Like I say, that helps me grow every single day. And to remind you all again, please, if you haven't put your name in for the giveaway for the Picasso airbrush and a possible secondary surprise when we hit 500 subscribers, okay? All you got to do is either make a comment or just put your channel name in there. And as soon as we reach 500 subscribers, I am going to go ahead then, my friends, and I am going to draw a winner, which I will be posting on here. So please, keep an eye on everything that's going on. So like I always say, my friend, as always, I love you, and I want to thank you all so very much for watching. Please like, share. Subscribe, ring that bell, and like I say, comment. Comment, please comment.